a try. Deadly Sevens has officially kicked off with the new primary school based program launching at Duneside Public School in Sydney's Ready, West today. For Aussie Seven squad member Mahalia Murphy, returning to her old primary school made it a unique experience. To be back in the community where I grew up and did my, you know, completed my primary school years is, is awesome to be back here, yeah. Deadly Sevens can be activated in schools with 20% of students who identify as being an Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander person. It's good to see kids get involved with the Viva Sevens as it's a great program to get the younger um, kids involved with the sport and potentially see you know, future Australian representatives or even Olympians. This is a wonderful initiative and incredibly grateful for the federal government's support. You know, they've put really significant money into this and this is a great program. Here we are at Doonside Public School, 28% you know, of their kids are Aboriginal. Um, rugby can bring enormous value to them and their lives um, and we're really eager to try and get as many Indigenous kids playing our game as possible. So, yeah, this is a really exciting day. With classroom and on-field elements, schools and students will get the best of both worlds. There's a lot of Indigenous talent out there and a lot of classroom kids out there in regional areas across Australia that have a number of Indigenous students. And we thought, what can we do to get them involved in rugby and how can we get them playing our game? And what a better way then to get them on the field, playing some rugby, having some fun, then also getting into the classroom and learning about Indigenous culture, learning how to live healthy lifestyles. Deadly Sevens is a terrific initiative you know, to help young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander kids and to match that with some fun out on a footy field, trying around a rugby ball, great program.